In the next segment, we'll explain temperature control, including the danger zone, hot and cold holding, proper cooking temperatures, thawing, and cooling food. Foods must be cooked and held at correct temperatures, and cooks must use a metal stem or digital thermometer to ensure that meat, poultry, seafood, and other cooked foods reach safe, minimum internal temperatures. Obviously, the only way to be sure that you've cooked something to the right temperature is with a probe thermometer. Remember, always hold cold foods at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Always hold hot foods at 135 degrees Fahrenheit or above. Most bacteria do not grow in very hot or cold temperatures. The danger zone in which bacteria can grow rapidly is between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Potentially hazardous foods may not be at room temperature for more than two hours while being prepared. When you're working with food, it's key to work quickly in small batches. Keep the rest of the food you're not working with hot or cold, either below 41 degrees if it's cold, or above 135 degrees if it's hot food. If food has been left at room temperature for an unknown amount of time, throw it away. It could be unsafe to eat. Keeping hot foods hot, also known as hot holding, is important because cooking in itself does not kill all bacteria, and bacteria resumes growth if foods are allowed to drop into the temperature danger zone. To ensure temperature safety, steam tables, soup warmers, and other hot holding units must be turned on and heated up before hot food is put into them. Use thermometers to check the temperature of the food, and be sure to cover pans, and stir food often to distribute heat evenly. And remember to never mix cold foods with cooked foods. Temperature control is a strong defense against foodborne illness and injury, and cooking meats is no exception. The guidelines for cooking meat are crucial to keeping customers healthy. Know the proper cooking temperatures for each type of meat and check your temperatures with the appropriate thermometer. But depending on the type of meat you're serving, safe temperatures can vary. Temperature control is also vital when it comes to handling cold foods. When practicing cold holding, always be mindful of the danger zone and keep cold foods at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. Foods can be kept in a refrigerator, ice, or other approved methods to keep bacteria from growing. When using ice to keep food cold, the ice must surround the container to the top level of the food. When you're thawing food, it's time to think about the danger zone again. Which would be any time the food is above 41 degrees. Acceptable methods of safely thawing frozen foods include in the refrigerator. Put frozen foods in the refrigerator until thawed. This is the slowest and safest method. Thaw raw meats on the bottom shelf or in a container to avoid cross-contamination with other foods. Under cold running water, keep the food covered in cold 70 degrees Fahrenheit or colder, running water until it's thawed. Or you may thaw as part of the cooking process or in the microwave for certain foods. Small items, such as frozen burritos, may be thawed while they cook. In addition to hot and cold holding, proper cooking temperature, and the correct thawing techniques, special care must be taken when cooling unserved leftovers or storing freshly cooked food, because bacteria can form quickly as food transitions through the temperature danger zone. It goes back to the danger zone. You want to move food through the danger zone as quickly as possible. For instance, you make some hot food and you want to reserve it the next day. Your goal is to safely cool the food from 135 degrees to below 41. The key to cooling food safely is in two phases. First, get the food from 135 to 71 in two hours. Second, cool food from 71 to below 41 degrees within four hours. Improper cooling is a leading contributor to foodborne illness. 
We can't stress enough how important it is to please take cooling seriously. Move the food through the danger zone as quick as possible because bacteria can produce toxins that are not destroyed by reheating temperatures. Cooling food is often the riskiest step in food preparation. Here's a quick outline on the facts of temperature control. The danger zone is between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Food must not remain in the danger zone for longer than two hours. Hold cold foods at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Hold hot foods at 135 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Know the proper cooking temperatures for meats, poultry, and seafood, and use the correct probe thermometer. Follow the steps for safe thawing and cooling of food. Time now for a closer look at what we just learned. So far, we've covered two of the top three defenses against foodborne illness and injury. We showed you how health and hygiene provide a first line of protection from spreading contaminants in the food you serve. We outlined aspects of temperature control designed to keep food out of the danger zone and free from potential hazards.